Korea's central bank wrapped up its first monetary policy meeting of the Moon Jae-in administration. Its benchmark rate will be kept at the record low level maintained for almost a year now. Kim Ji-yeon breaks down the digits for us. The Bank of Korea has frozen its key rate for yet another month, sending PAD at a record low of 1.25 percent, a figure that has remained unchanged since last June. The central bank says steady economic recovery played a big role in its widely expected decision. The BOK pointed to strong exports, which have risen for six consecutive months, as well as steady growth in consumer prices, as signs the local economy is recovering. Although the rise in spending is still tepid, exports, as well as facilities and construction investment are all on a steady upward trend. In terms of consumer prices, growth slowed to 1.9 percent as the surge in farm and manufactured goods weakened. And core inflation also saw a slight dip to the mid-1 percent range. We expect inflation to remain stable for the time being, hovering around the target of 2 percent. Although Korea's base rate is only slightly above that of the U.S., the recent rally in the country's stock market shows foreign investors still have a strong appetite for local shares, and there are no early signs of capital flight. The Bank of Korea adds that raising rates now would only put more pressure on the country's household debt levels, currently amounting to a staggering 1.2 trillion U.S. dollars. High market expectations for expansionary fiscal policies under President Moon Jae-in, as seen in the recent market rally, is another reason why the central bank is likely not to push for further easing. If the Bank of Korea raises the key rate, it could hamper the efforts of the Moon Jae-in administration in mapping out a supplementary budget to boost the local economy. On the other hand, if the central bank lowers the rate, it could worsen the soaring household debt problem as it would encourage more potential home buyers to go out on a limb and buy real estate. In its next monetary policy meeting, the Bank of Korea says it's highly likely that it'll raise its growth outlook for the Korean economy this year from the current 2.6 percent as the local economy continues on the path to recovery. Kim Ji-yeon, Arirang News.